Oh, hi there, YouTube. As some of y'all might know, a couple weeks ago I was at a train show. Actually, I really can't say a couple weeks now. It's been over a month since we were there. Um, but as you guys know, we were there, and we just we set up the Tommy trains and we got right at it. Um, yeah. But for most of those who know, this was the Red Ma Matheny train show. I'm gonna have to share the the news thing for it, and. They allowed me to go up there and set up my Thomas trains and so on and so forth. Now, with that being said, there was also HOO scale, some S scale there, and different vendors. The, the Chesapeake and Ohio History Society was there too. They were selling stuff, so on and so forth. You get the gist. I should have bought some stuff from them, but I didn't. But, in the end, the train trip was really fun. I had a great time. Um, I'm pretty sure my brother did too. He helped me build some stuff. Now, on to the first section of the train trip, building the napper section. What's up, motherfuckers? Thank you. 
But that being done, the Napford Station section took, if not almost an hour of our time. And it took me a total of five hours to set up. It took me two hours the night before and then three hours in the morning. It was two hours into the train show before I even finished. So it was... It was a big event. Um, we decided to go next with Wellsworth. Wellsworth was the second section of the line that we wanted to do. We were going to station Edward there at the station, just, you know, for looks, obviously. And we didn't, which I would have, but you get the gist. Um, you'll see some clips of the trains running here towards the end. Um...
goodness. Here after Wellsworth, you've got the little section we did for the windmill. It comes in a... Or, yeah, kind of like... Okay, so... To explain it... So, so it went like this... Came down straight away, and then Gordon's Hill was like that. We also had another line come off there for the Edwards Branch line and that led to the docks. We put the dock section in. Um, you'll see that being built too. Gordon's Hill was the biggest pain because we had to line up the cloths and stuff we were using for the hill with the bottom of the tracks. And it's really hard to do that when, especially for one, the tracks, the how they're sloped, they don't really allow for that kind of thing. And that's what I'm hoping to go with next year. We're going to go with an all Tommy hill. It's going to be all Tommy track at some point. I'm not sure when, but it will be. We'll go through, find lots and stuff like that. Let's find what we need. Um, I did find a few couple things. I was able to get some sets. I got a... The sort and switch mail delivery set, which was the Percy starter set. And then we got a Thomas. We got the, the Thomas Railway fun set from Tomy. Put a picture on the screen now. That was a fun set. It came with a whole bunch of extra pieces. The only thing it was missing was the tunnel, which is fine. I had a tunnel that could go with it. But we'll probably at the train show next year have a little like a few sets here and there. You know, just, uh, I'll have the main layout, maybe gonna add, I might do something like Marin and then try and find a way to put Kronk, Kronk or Kildane in. I'll put Kildane in. This seems like it'd be a fun one to do. But yeah, that's what we ended up deciding on. So, yeah. The next section was built, which was Gordon's Hill. Obviously, I mentioned that before. We built Marin, and then we built Tidmouth Sheds. Tidmouth Sheds was built the night before, and Tidmouth Sheds layout was sold in from the start. When we finished that, I've got pictures here and there, but when we finished it, it came all to shape, you know. So, you got the, the four different locations we went with. Knapford with the yard area, CGI series, Wellsworth, and then Gordon's Hill with the windmill at the bottom of it on one end, and then Marin into Tidmouth Sheds and back into that loop. So it was a giant, it was a giant two track loop. You could send two different engines on the line. And there you go. I want to add Thomas's branch line next year with a little loop around track that Thomas can go on. And that way Thomas is separated from everybody else and you can still have a mainline engine running and Thomas running at the same time. Yeah, there's my wife as she walks away. I don't know where she's going. Um, but, yeah. Let's get some trains running.
With that being said, this video was really fun to make. I hope you guys all enjoy, and I will see y'all in the next video. By the way, we got monetization back, so be sure to subscribe. I've noticed that 96% of people are not subscribed, and only about... I think it's more of like... It's, 80, it's 88% that is not subscribed, and 12% that is, that do watch the videos. Um, Yeah, so it's just, you know, hit that, hit the subscribe button, the like button too, that helps get the videos more found on the watch page so we can make more money to, pur to purchase more things to make more videos. Um, I do have an Edward review, a Wooden Railway Edward review that I'm going to throw up here soon. I'm um, not sure when that'll be, but it'll, it'll be a quick video. So, yeah. I hope y'all have a great weekend. And... See y'all in the next video. See ya.